right y'all so here is my kitchen that needs to be cleaned and you guys are going to watch me clean it i'm going to be doing multiple videos today i'm going to be doing the video of us taking down our holiday decorations today is the day after my birthday so yes it is time to clean i literally made those cookies the day before my birthday and they are gone they are gone the kids and my husband have been fussing over them and so one cookie left in there so i'm going to be making some more those were chocolate chip cookies and i made chocolate chip pecan cookies so yep that's going to be another video of us taking down our christmas decor one of my bowls already fell down and they like okay it's time to go so yep this is the kitchen before and you will see what it looks like after we got rugs and all the stuff that needs to be picked up so let's get started so guys yes this is motivating to myself as well i'm hoping it is inspiring to you every time i do a cleaning video people say we want more we want more i literally got a couple emails after the last one and i knew i wanted to take down everything in my um kitchen and in the house but that's going to be a separate video but the kitchen itself is in this one where i take all the decor down but I am loving, loving, loving sharing this with you guys. Make sure if you have any comments, you leave them below. And I will definitely get back to you guys. Make sure you share and thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like to see people clean out their sink. This is like the most satisfying part of the actual speed cleaning of a kitchen to me. I love, love, love seeing people clean out their sinks. And I'm so in love with my sink. over these plastic sink protectors i want the metal ones the metal like grate that you put in the bottom of your sink to protect it where do you guys suggest i find a good affordable one with like the silicone um, or rubber stoppers so it doesn't scratch the inside of the sink
is it just my stove or are any of you that like to cook a lot like myself and my husband experiencing the color of your iron grates for your stove starting to turn like gray where it's like the black is not as prominent anymore if so let me know and what can i do to get the black color back and is it possible So guys, I have been loving these wipes, okay? They are from Sam's Club, and I believe it's three big containers like the one I just showed you, three or four. And it's like $8.88, you can't beat those. Now I heard people talk about the Dollar Tree ones. If you use them, let me know below how they work for you. I so love this trash can, guys. Would you believe I got this trash can with eBay Bucks from Overstock? It was about, I think, 70 or 90 something dollars and I didn't pay a dime and it's been rolling for the last two years awesomely like it is a no touch um trash can and it is the bomb I was getting ready to clean off this area and notice that the rice was out for a reason is because it needed to be filled so I'm getting ready to fill that rice right now and uh didn't get this island cleaned off if you guys would like to see organization in my kitchen thumbs up the video and leave a comment below and i'll show you different ways that i organize in my kitchen So just FYI, these snake plants are beautiful. They go with any decor. I did a video on how Audi had these back again. Mines are really flourishing. And if you are looking for a plant that you don't have to give that much love and they don't care if you talk to them, this is it. These are actually great air filters for your home as well. As you know guys, I make my own breadcrumbs and it's more affordable and frugal by using the ends or the butts of the bread. I just let them sit overnight, maybe two nights and I throw them in a fruit processor and then I just put them in the container that I showed you. I'm gonna be doing some more organization down here because things are not where they should be, but they are in a place. But if you guys wanna see more organization and ways that I keep my kitchen looking minimal and not having too much going on in it, make sure you comment below. You guys have no clue how I was so excited to get these freaking things down off of my cabinets. It just seemed like this Christmas stuff been up forever. My husband will do Christmas six months out of the year if you allow him to. So when I wanted to take it down before New Year's, he was like, no, babe, let's do it after your birthday. I was like, okay, okay. So that is why we're just now taking down our items. I was so in love with my little Dollar Tree Christmas tree, but it is time to go. Bye-bye. I did a review on these bad boys. They are the bomb. They help from 
stopping crumbs or any oils or anything from getting between your sink not sink but your stove and your counter and um i did a review on them and i really love them i had white ones but i end up changing and getting black ones and my soap dispenser looked a hot mess so i had to get all the soap that was all around it off of it the soap scum and um now she looks better and that is where I keep my hand soap and the dispenser coming out of the countertop is my dish soap. So yeah, yep. so I'm going to be cleaning off this little area, which is where we usually do most of our prepping and cooking. The George Foreman sits there and basically we do a lot in this little section right here. So yes, sir. For those of you that are new to my channel, I just wanted to share with you, the home that you are looking at at this moment is a home that my husband and I inherited from his grandfather. We went through so much. It was a journey because it was a total downsize. We have so many renovations. I have purge and declutter videos showing you the stress of downsizing and why it had to be done. We show the journey of how we made this house our home and I share that with you on YouTube so be sure to look in my playlist to find those videos if I forget to leave them below all right guys so this is all of my Christmas stuff that was in my kitchen and my little half bath off the kitchen I'm so glad to be putting this stuff away and getting my kitchen back to a minimalist minimalist state and nice and clean and ready to cook in so yeah those mats were a part of it and I got those from Kohl's and all this stuff is like random stuff from Dollar Tree, stuff from my mom-in-law and all them goodies that we decorate with. So here is the kitchen after we got all of the Christmas stuff out of the way and put away. That is what the kitchen looks like and I'm so happy to have my kitchen back with new Christmas items. Thumbs up this video. Make sure you share my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Later Gators!